Okay, so this dude is coming back. Is it worth going for him in this patch? I mean, there's so many characters they could go for, right? Chaska, uh, Roron, Lenny. There are so many characters and not to mention Zhongli that is also going to be making a rerun. Is it really worth getting him as a character over all of those characters? The answer is simply yes. <laughs> Uh, Nuflet is still one of the most self-sufficient characters in the game and a lot of people say hey he's probably the best one that you can get and while that is a quite controversial take it's not really a bad one he's such an easy character to build first of all second of all he does too much damage and third of all he self heals so pretty much you're good to go as soon as you get him. yep it's that easy now as a character he has nothing to prove. He is such a strong character from the get-go that him just being an HP scaling character makes him above all else. His strength comes from his normal attack or charge attack I should say because that's where his damage comes from and it is insane. Nuvlet is a character that is so easy to use it is ridiculous. His teams are plentiful, but mostly the ones that you use Fiorina in is going to outshine so, so many other teams. It is ridiculous. I think whenever I use this character, I clear out all the content really, really quickly that it kind of gets a little boring of how fast and how strong I get through content. He is definitely a great character to go for, even in 2024. Yep, it's the end of 2024, it's already December, and we still have Nivellet coming in and making a grand appearance. So, should you choose him over a character like Zhongli, should you choose him over a character like Linny, or even Chaska? And the sand, it's an easy yes for me. He's one of the strongest characters in the game, very self-sufficient, heals himself, does a lot of damage, and barely needs a team for him to go. Obviously, the more reactions you have, the more damage he's going to deal, but he is still really powerful just by himself. A lot of people go on runs with just him in the team and do a solo mission in the abyss and they clear it. I've seen him multiple times. Is he a constellation hungry character? Absolutely not. At C0, he's excellent and does a lot for you. And does he need Fiorina? Probably not. But with Fiorina, he is in insane absolutely crazy and definitely uh the characters of all time <laughs> now obviously i did mention the characters in 5.2 but did i mention the characters that might come out 5.3 and mainly sit lolly as well as mabuika is it worth going for him over those two well personally i did not see gameplay from mabuika nor sit lolly but what i do know is that Mavuika is a whole Archon and I cannot make the judgment just yet if she is going to be more worth it than Nuvlet or not. But what I do know is that Nuvlet is really, and I mean really strong, that it makes no sense for you guys not to go for him even though he is the most bait banner of all time because they know how many people want him and they know that he is going to be the banner right before Mavuika comes out and that's where they get you guys so he's probably going to make a rerun at some point and it's he's going to come back so you guys don't have to worry too much about not obtaining him ever he's still a character that's gonna come and go but Mavuika will be here for this patch and then she's going to come back too so don't you worry they all eventually come back at the end of the day, he is a really, really strong character. I do think he is a character that is worth it, does pretty much everything that you want from a character and more. Now, how you build Nivellet is actually pretty, as I said before multiple times, it's easy. You just need any type of crit weapon that will help him get along because his artifacts carry his crit rate anyway. So if you don't have something like his you know, main weapon like I do, any weapon that has crit, Maybe the Wit Sith, um, Sacrificial Jade is good. Um, maybe you don't have any of these weapons at all. There are HP weapons such as the Prototype Amber, which is really, really good. Not only does this you know, help you heal your party members, but also gives you a nice uh, energy every now and then, which is pretty awesome. There are so many options that it's kind of easy to have him uh, fully loaded straight off the bat. 
even if you are free to play. Now those artifacts, I do have to recommend the mark. The, this is the best. This is the best artifacts uh, for him because you just get a lot of crit rate for free and you do get a charge attack damage buff. This is his artifact set. It makes sense for you guys to go for this one. Obviously, there are other artifact sets that you can go for. There's the Hydro sets, there's the other stuff, but just mainly focus on this one and you'll be good to go. As for talent, mainly focus on his normal attack damage. This will do the most for you. And then the charge attacks is pretty good. I mean, the elemental skill is pretty good. I should probably level this up a little bit more, but it, it's fine. And then you have your burst. This will do a lot of damage as well. So yeah, everything's pretty important for his talent, but main focus should be your normal attack because that's where he gets the most damage from. As for teams, have any team with Furina, with a Dendro character, with an Electro character, and you're good. You're going to be dealing so, so much stuff. Usually, Nahid has an excellent choice for an, um, a Dendro character, but you can have Dendro Traveler, which will do just as well for you here. And there are other Dendro characters as well that could uh, put, you know, just be in the spot. Before the Electro character, doesn't have to be the Raiden Shogun. I just ha like to have an all Archon team for fun. But you can have Fischl in here, you can have Yaimiko in here, you can have a lot of characters as long as they trigger those blooms and do a lot of damage thanks to the Hyper Bloom, which is really nice. And then you have a character like Furina. Furina is pretty irreplaceable, but if you don't have Furina, you can use multiple other characters that could just buff your Nivlet as a whole. You can use an animal character for you. Could use Kaza or Sucrose, any character that can do some um, resistance shredding, which is pretty nice. Or you can have a character like Zhongli. I know he's going to be on the banner, so I don't want to, uh, you know, sway you. Oh, you have to have Zhongli. You don't. He's just a nice little shred uh, every now and then, and it kind of helps you with the uh, interruption with the resistance. But if you don't have that, you can also use Shilonen, and she's going to be um, pretty good for your teams. Anyway, there's so, so many so many other options you can have a vaporized team with xiang ling i know i said xiang ling but there's that you can do electro charge with um other characters with auroran even um you can do electro charge with him there's so many so many stuff to do because Hydro is just a really strong element but yeah there's that i think that is all i wanted to talk about he is definitely a character that is worth going for even if it you know, going against characters like Zhongli and whoever. In fact, I would pick him over Zhongli any day of the week. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys in the next one very soon. Goodbye.